Hello everyone, welcome back to another uh, devotional time with Pastor Maddie. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. We are actually wrapping up the month of December. We, I can't believe it, we're at the end of December. We're getting ready to celebrate the new year. I hope you guys had a fabulous Christmas. I know mine was really good, it was a lot of fun, but I hope you guys had a good one as well. So, as we wrap up for our devotional time today for the month of December, things you will need. You guys need, of course, your Bible, Mine's on my phone. You guys will need your journal and a pen or pencil. My soap um, thing is on my iPad. And then of course your devotional cards. Um, and Kinder to first grade, your guys' is, um, is a bluish background with a coloring page on the back. And second to third graders, your guys' looks like um, it's got a bunch of snowflakes on it. And then fourth to fifth graders, your guys' is, is a booklet that has been folded in half for you guys. Yay! So. Um, we have a couple of scriptures for today and um, we're just going to go ahead and dive right on into stuff. So today we're actually, um, our first verse that we're going to look at comes from the book of Philippians. Both of our verses do come from the New Testament, so we're going to stay in that back half of the Bible. And we're going to be in Philippians chapter 4, verse 7 is what we're going to take a look at. And the theme, there's a theme for today and I hope you guys can catch it. Um... Uh, it's, it's pretty, I think it's really, really cool. Um, uh, my brain was going crazy in a mile a minute for a second. Um, okay, so we're going to take a look at Philippians 4, chapter, chapter 4, verse 7. And I'm reading out of the NIRV, and it says this. Then God's peace will watch over you, hearts and your minds. He will do this because you belong to Christ Jesus. God's peace can never be completely understood. One more time. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. He will do this because you belong to Christ Jesus. God's peace can never be completely understood. I love this verse because it talks about how God's peace will watch over us. And it helps bring a sense of calmness and uh, restfulness to us and our hearts and our minds. So when things get really, really crazy and really chaotic and stuff like that, we know that we have God's peace with us. And um, while we, the very end of that verse says that we will never fully understand God's peace, that's true, but we understand enough that when we just kind of enter into God and be a part of Him, He brings us everlasting peace that will help to keep us um, relaxed and sane and that where we're not going to be like, oh my gosh, things are a little crazy. Um, but it will help us to stay calm. Um, the other verse that I want to take a look at is John. It's in the book of John. So it's a few, a uh, few books back and it's John chapter 14. And we're going to take a look at verse 27. So John chapter 14, verse 27, still in the NIRV. And it says this, I leave my peace with you. I give my peace to you. I do not give it to you as the world does. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. I leave my peace with you. I give my peace to you. I do not give it to you as the world does. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. I love this because going along with Philippians, this is another great reminder that you know what? Our peace is in our Heavenly Father and that He gives it to us. He gives us peace that passes all understanding, that helps us to remain hopeful, that helps us to remain in love and light even in chaotic times. And as we come to the conclusion of 2020, we can all agree that it has been a really crazy year. I don't know about you, but I have definitely needed moments of peace. And that's exactly what God gives to us and He leaves us His peace. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and grab our journals, grab our pens, and we're going to soap about it. Remember, soap stands for scripture, observation, application, and prayer. And we write the scripture out. We observe some things about it. We apply those observations to our life, and then we pray. Yep. Soap. There we go. Let's get started.
awesome job. So as we wrap up the month of December, we've been talking all month long about how Jesus is God's greatest gift to us as a people. And it's an amazing reminder that God loves us so, so much. We talked about it a few weeks ago. God loved the world so much. He gave us Jesus. And as we wrap up the Christmas season, as we enter in the new year, we remember that God gives us peace. So doesn't matter whatever 2021 holds, we know that God gives us peace. He gives us hope that things are going to be okay. I love you guys. Have a happy new year. Stay safe, be healthy, and I'll see you all in the new year.